While Father Brett and I were on our way to Father Dexter's ordination yesterday, I saw beside the road a joy-filled father holding the hands of his little child, guiding his every step as the little one struggles to walk. The patience and love of that father is that same love and patience that I received from God throughout my 33 years of existence. It is believed that Jesus died at the age of 33. This is true also to me and to Father Brett. Though I did not experience death physically today, I experienced death from myself in order to give also myself fully to the Lord and to the church. And so, my real life of love and service begins today. All praise and thanksgiving belong to you, O Lord, for today you have granted this humble and unworthy servant your gift of priesthood. O Holy Tryon God, I thank you. O Blessed Mary, I thank you. Saints Agatha, Ignatius, Camillus, Kateri, and Justin, I thank you. To my supportive and loving family, my mother and my father, to whom I have first learned to pray and be thankful, thank you for allowing me to pursue priesthood. Agyama na klaunay kada kayo, tanawan kayo, awanak met. Nga mas pagyamanak iti pa ng palubos yu nga agpadiak, doray siya klaangan iti nabatbati nga anak yu. Agyama na kiti amin nga anos yu, kenayat yu kanyak. Dakkel na pagyaman ko kanyayo. Ma, dudes, I love you. To my brother who has gone ahead of us, deep agyaman na kadagiti amin nga karkararag mo kanyak. The answer to the questions of Habakkuk and ours is twofold. In one commentary it says, One, the Lord keeps secret how He rules the world. And all he asks is that we remain faithful. The upright will live by his faithfulness. And two, the prophet Habakkuk contemplates the glory of the Lord who will judge at the end of times. As pilgrims on this earth, we also as individuals and the entire people have something to contribute. The document on PCP2 advises that I quote, the acknowledgement of sinfulness as the root cause of our social problems must lead to conversion and social transformation. This is at the beginning of our spiritual journey. The proclamation of the kingdom of God is a call to change of heart, a profound transformation of one's way of life so that it would be in accord with the gospel. It requires the living of the spirit of the Beatitudes, which are the marks of the pilgrims journeying toward the kingdom of God, end of quote. As ministers of God's people, we are called first and foremost to lead a spirituality of social transformation which is inspired by the preferential love for the poor. We are called to lead a life of constant metanoia or conversion which is at the heart of Christian discipleship live in a world of poverty, oppression, exploitation, and conflict. The chains of heart for which we are called as ministers should lead us to particular attitudes. First, we are called as ministers to be with the poor and to listen to their cry. The themes during the pre consultation on dialogue, listening, and discernment are among the elements whereby we can effectively immerse ourselves in the life situations of those in the peripheries, including the indifferent and the unchurched. There are values you can bring along, especially during moments of home visitations. The people will be glad when we visit them and are glad when we listen to them and spend time with them. Second, is the call to a simplicity of life. We are called to, li to live a simple lifestyle and identify with the anawim. 
the poorest of the poor are our brothers and sisters. And as Archbishop James Like, the former Archbishop of Atlanta says, we are evangelized by the poor. Priest, for living a, li- a simple lifestyle allows us to be closer to those who have less. The lifestyle allows us to be in better situation as proclaimers of God's word. Third is the call to proclamation of justice. This is part of our work as sharers in the prophetic function of Jesus by virtue of our sacramental ordination. And in this case, we are in the ministry of addressing issues like respect for life, respect for God's creation, defense of the poor and the weak, promotion of human rights, honesty and integrity in government offices, and many more. We will find consolation from Mary. In the Gospel reading, Mary recognized that the couple were almost running out of wine. The people attending the wedding would be frustrated if they come to know that they are no more wine and the couple would be put into bad situation because of this. Mary acted on this situation and informed her son. Miracle happened because of Mary's Mary's initiative. What transpired at the wedding in Cana can be an inspiration for people who are in different difficulties in life. As ministers, we can lead them to Mary and through Mary to Jesus. Mary is our mother to whom we can turn to, including us ministers. Jesus transformed the water into wine. The jars of water was meant for use by the Jews to purify themselves. The conversion of water into best wine would symbolize the conversion of individuals and social structures. As I mentioned earlier, we ministers are also in need of constant conversion. Let us ask Jesus through the intercession of Mary to grant us the grace to transform ourselves, the government leaders, those who are in the position of power, the rich and the powerful, and the modern day oppressors into best wine for the community or people whom we are called to serve. My heart is full of gratitude to you, my King and my God, for all the wonders you've done to me and for me. I will never be deserving of your love. Still, you will choose to give all your graces and blessings to me willingly and unconditionally. I give thanks to you, my Lord. My yes to you today is the fulfillment of my yes to you 10 years ago when I decided to answer your call. I thank you too, Heavenly Mother, Mary Most Holy, for being present always in my life from my birth until now. You never stop guiding me towards your son and my Lord. I love you, dear mother. Be the queen of my heart so that I may always imitate you in loving God and my brothers and sisters. Be the mother of my priesthood so that I may give myself fully to your son and to his church without any reserve.